Hello my dears, it's another uh, lessons of pressure vessel that we now have. Uh, today we want to speak about the lugs. We have different kind of lugs and that we are talking about now is lifting lugs. Uh, as you know, we have uh, some kind of lifting like that. One of them, for example, and uh, have been shown here. That dimension are there. It's two view of it, and the uh, elevation and the top view. And now we are going to design this lifting like in code cal uh, program. Here we have. If you want to uh, design a new lifting lug, uh, you will, uh, as far as you, after uh, that you open the program, you will see here there is uh, lots of things for designing uh, different part of the vessel. And now we are talking about this part. If you hold your mouse here, you will see that uh, it says that add new leg and lug. After clicking on this, you will see this point uh, will show and this will be up here. I have filled them before and now we are going to uh, check them step by step. Here is the item ID identification and the item number is not important, it's just a name and the description is only. It will come in your uh, report here. The description and the item number. After that, uh, we will here we have the lug and or leg properties. And uh, design pressure, we will see that is not a uh, zero bar because it's not a pressure part. Uh, because as you know, the lifting lug is out of the vessel and it's external attachment of the vessel. Uh, so we don't need to put any pressure uh, for design. Uh, design temperature, it depends on your uh, data sheet that which temperature would you apply and it will also uh, influence uh, on the yield stress of the material you have been chosen for the lags. Here you will see that you, change, you can change the units to whatever you want. But I will not change them. Uh, as you know, here it's very easy. Uh, outer diameter of vessel uh, in millimeter, I have chosen 1416. One uh, you can change it. To 1400, and you will see that here in the drawing it will change. Shell thickness, it depends on your the your vessel. You can change it, and or you can do it before. Shell corrosion allowance uh, is depend of the material and your data sheet. It could, could be zero for soundless steel vessels. Or for other uh, thing that like cameras, you can put 1.6 or whatever is applied in your data sheet. The height of the vessel tangent line from tangent line, and also the material for choosing the material, you can uh, choose here the three points. After you choose that, you can see the list of material are here and you can choose what you want for example this a uh, two four one four six you can see here the closing number and you will see here the cells and temperature and also with select okay the type of the analysis is very important and uh, what is that you are analyzing lifting like support like uh, or if you change that you will see that this, the title of the third bar will change 
uh, we are now talking about the lifting legs we have here and this will finish the second part is loud the most important thing you have is the weight of the vessel you can have all slow it's better uh, 16,000 Newton and the uh, next part is here okay it's the most important thing lifting line properties uh, lifting line materials you will see you can change it with this icon and uh, leg orientation to the vessel you have two leg orientation flat or perpendicular the flat one as you know uh, is the flat that here you want to lift the vessel vertically but in the perpendicular type uh, you can uh, see that uh, when the vessel and the lifting up and their angle are uh, perpendicular to other you will put that you will see that it's not very hard okay contact or high top prepared uh, here you will you should put uh, this number contact width you will choose 110 the second is thickness of the lifting like for example 20 diameter of a hole is here you will choose 35 millimeter radius of the radius of semicircular arc here you can choose this item for head of the log from bottom of center of the hole this number if you want to see you in the picture is here the height of the log from bottom center of the hole You will see if I was yes it was 49. The other thing the offset of offset from vessel audio to center of hole. Here uh, you should have here we have this dimension or this dimension. It will be the half of the this. You can use. 55 and now you can see the uh, drawing of that mm, legs minimum thickness of fillet weld uh, in looking like we will uh, weld the lifting to the attack to the vessel in this area you can put full of this uh, lens or a little lower but I will choose 110 oh then so excuse me this will be the uh, half of the looking like half of all the 7 point5 7 7 0.7 after Log thickness. That dimension what will the length along the side is one hundred ten. Uh, it can be the thickness, the length of it along the bottom. Okay, we have here, and the other thing we should have is the axial force, normal force, or tangential force. An impact factor. Impact factor multiplied the uh, uh, forces for more uh, safety. You can put 1.5, or for uh, higher safety, you can put 2. Uh, axial force, you can put the weight of the vessel here in very severe condition 
but it depends on you and then you can run as you see we have some problems total combine storage space of the lot is more than allowable and actual allowable you have to go to space of the lot you should change some permit or make a lower weight for that and which is section one and now you see here you will choose more thickness more well fillers and now we have no row here and for uh, printing the result we can use this icon to make the report to Microsoft or Excel Now your report is ready and uh, our lesson is going to finish. If you have any problem, you uh, can call me. I, I will put my email below the video. Have a nice day, my dears.